hesitated in having someone else bake a cake for Arlene. <laughs> yeah, right. We know that she's given over 30 years of service, nearly 35? Five? 36? Yeah. We're gonna, well, do I hear 37? <laughs> 5,000 hours of service and hundreds of cakes. Yeah. All to yeah. the delight of our community, our staff, the young people, and the families. I had the privilege a few years ago of celebrating the 100th anniversary of this museum. And I thought about how many people invested in this space and what they really gave. And I, I was able to think back and say, you know, you truly can judge a community by the institutions they grow, sustain, and support. And it says volumes about who we are as a community that we have on faith kept this institution growing and strong. We started out 100 years ago as a volunteer organization. We've had paid staff for just about 50 years only, and not many. And we've had more years with volunteers than years with staff, unpaid and paid. It's really remarkable. I, um, I love to paraphrase Peggy Goldfarb, who says of students and children, they are messengers to a future we will not see. And the time and hours we invest in their future is a faith for that that we will not see and know that we will live to have touched a future. Arlene has helped us touch a future, and we will all benefit. Our grandchildren will benefit. Generations we will not see will benefit. And we have to admit, 5,000 hours dedicated to representing who we are as a community is a gift to all of us. It's been a wonderful gift to the museum. I thank you for your service. It has been such a pleasure to have you here so many days. I know we'll see you smiling around the corner again soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And bring a cake anytime. <laughs>